This show is all about bending your wood. <laughs> oh yeah, and... Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. A viewer to this show sent me a bunch of these hardwood flooring cutoffs. There's some beautiful pieces here. I've got some wingy, and for this project, I'm gonna use zebra wood. I'll cut off the bad spots and then cut it into strips. This scrap two by four is gonna make it a lot safer to cut out these thin strips along this board. First, I'll square up the edges. I'm gonna stick these together using hot glue. With my zero clearance insert in place, I can cut out really thin strips. The zebra wood seems to bend really nicely. Some woods bend a lot easier than others. Oak is a good wood for bending. The thinner you cut your strips, the easier it's going to be to bend them. My bending form is just a couple of pieces of plywood with holes in it, and I'm gonna stick a dowel in this one and this one. And I'll screw this scrap board in place. This sheet of wax paper will keep the glue from sticking to the form. It's important that you don't miss any spots when you're gluing up these strips. I'll start pulling this in with a clamp. Sometimes there's spots that don't glue together right, so I just give them an additional clamp. For anything larger, you'd probably want to make some curved forms so you can get more even clamping pressure. And not too bad, there's a few little gaps in here, but I think I'll just re-glue those. I'll attach this cutting template with spray adhesive. And I'll use my sanders to do a lot of shaping. I'll use this other template to cut out the base. After drying overnight, I give this a final sanding. One thing I've done is I've sanded this part down to a taper. It seems to hold the razor a lot better. Several coats of spray lacquer will protect this from moisture. It's November, you know what that means? It's also Movember. Men worldwide are growing mustaches in support of men's health issues. I won't be growing a mustache this month, but I really wanted to get involved and show my support, which is why I came up with this razor stand. For months now, I've been getting a really close shave and getting all of my razors delivered right to my front door using harrys.com. Harrys.com is the official razor partner of Movember and will be supporting Movember all month long in its quest to fund research into men's health issues. You know, not only do I get a great shave and save a lot of money by using Harry's razors, but the, the handle itself has such a great weight and feel to it. I didn't want to just keep throwing it on the bathroom counter, which is another reason why I wanted to make the razor stand for it. That's extra fancy. I'd love for you to try out Harry's too by going to harrys.com and entering coupon code woodworking, and that'll save you five bucks off your first order. Extra fancy. 
I'm thrilled with the way this turned out. Bending wood is a lot of fun. If you'd like to try to make this razor stand yourself, check down in the description for a free template you can print out and cut out. And if this is your first time here to Woodworking for Mere Mortals, welcome! Woodworking for Mere Mortals is a different kind of woodworking show. I really believe that everybody has the skills within them to make just about anything. It's not that difficult and it doesn't cost you a lot of money. I think this is the first time I've ever shot my outro with that morning sunlight coming right in here. It's pretty dramatic, isn't it? If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to subscribe to Woodworking for Mere Mortals and check out my second channel, Mere Minutes. Ah, I don't know if I like shooting my outro here or not. Thanks everybody, I'll see you next week.